But then this other person, no more lies of ignorance. Um, but this is what got got to me. Okay. Uh, da, 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 hope. Did they actually delete it? Wasn't that far away, was it? Okay. Walk in the Beauty said, please explain why 90% of your videos are at a church. So I replied back, being, being, being nice. I was being nice. And I, I replied back, well, actually, took me a while to reply back. No, actually, I did, honestly. Uh, <laughs> I replied back, going, well, 90% of my videos are not churches. If you're asking why I'm visiting churches more these couple of months, well, it's because many churches are either following or not following the mass bylaws. That's because many churches are either following or not following the mass bylaws. That's because many churches are either following or not following the the mass bylaws. That's why there are a bit more videos of churches. And and you you might turn around and think, hey, that makes sense. Okay, thanks for you know telling me this, right? You know, like thank you, thank you, right? Like, okay, why not stand there and film? Hey, look, all right. So three people walked in without mask, but twenty of them did. Why not? Uh, then, but then this other person, no more lies of ignorance, uh, literally just went on a roll pad, like said, um, walk in beauty. Also said, CRM is a snitch. No more no lies, lies of ignorance. Of no more lies ingerence. of ingerence. How am I a snitch because I'm filming? Well, it's because many churches are either following or not following the mass bylaws. That's because many churches are either following or not following the mass bylaws. That's because many churches are either following or not following the mass bylaws. That's why there are a bit more videos of churches. Here to see if the cogs see it, please will respect these individuals' rights to peace for assembly and also to see if I'm respected of my Canadian rights of freedom of the press. So, let's find out. All right, so this building here used to be the core queen bench before they built that one right down there. So this is just uh, outside plaza where they're holding their protest. And flying high to the left is the Canadian flag and to the right is the Alberta flag. Oh, looks like they have a mascot. Everybody who comes up talks to me. Yeah. I'm just asking to see what you who you are. Can I ask that or is it? No, you can. I'm I'm an individual. Yeah, well, that's all mine. I'm just here covering the protest. Okay, for who, who are you covering for? I'm independent. Independent? It's kind of a So you're not professional or anything. Oh, to a lot of people, I'm professional. So why are you here? To attend this rally. Yeah. Speak out for freedom. Yeah. What freedom? Freedom to assemble. Freedom. Freedom from medical fascism. So what in the charter says to say that part? About the medical fascism, not 
that's different. Like, yeah. But the charter says we're free to assemble. Yep, freedom and, uh, of assembly, yep. The medical fascism part is my body. I have security of the person. That's correct. Right. And notwithstanding the Oaks thing, I don't think it, it's valid. I don't think Oaks is valid in this case. Why is that? Because it's not a, I don't think it's a public crisis. So and what do you think? So with, uh, I'm asking, I'm asking, well, you know, with thousands asking, of, uh, with thousands of people who have gone as sick because of the virus, you don't think is an outbreak? Well, it's an outbreak. Well, what is an outbreak of? No, well, it's because of a virus. Do you do you feel that the government didn't take steps faster enough to contain this virus? I think they overreached their uh, their powers in this case. So you don't think that if they reacted as quick as they did with the SARS virus, we won't be where we are right now? No, I don't. Th I think we'd still be where we are because you know they're they're not. They're hiding the fact uh, of how they're using the PCR tests, and they don't won't reveal how many cycle counts they're using. So there's a lot of, if they're testing as Kenny says at 41 cycles, there's an awful lot of false positive, and these numbers aren't for real. And they have never that, that came from Jason Kenny. Yeah, and they have never doubted about false positives. Yeah, but it's it's a percentage of false positives I'm talking about. If you test at 41, the percentage is much higher than if you test at 35. And if you test at 25, there's almost none. So why won't they reveal what they're testing at? And if you really want to know, PCR testing, they're not even testing for COVID. Now, before you get me wrong here, they've determined that there's three or four genetic markers that they can test for. And if you have all four, then you have COVID. That's the theory of the PCR test. Okay, I'm, I'm, it's, that's not really open for debate. That's what they've said. But in Alberta, a positive is only one of the markers. So if you have only one of the markers, you can have any number of coronaviruses, which is like, a, could be even a common cold. Uh, common cold is not part of the COVID. Do you take care of this? Did that make enough sense to... You'll figure it out. Don't lose the paper. Maybe stop it enough. No. Oh, here. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it could so come. They're, they're it could, for e, well, it could come back as the comic flu. But no, the, no, they're not. They're not testing the, for that. But the flu is a strain of the COVID virus. Well, not type A or B. It's it's the common common flu is actually type of the COVID nineteen virus. Well, that, so people uh, that's ha why they have pe people they have, have been tested. Tests for they have and no positive tests for type A or type B, but they have lots of at, tests. At the beginning, they RD. at the beginning they have, but not anymore. They have because no, they because they changed I mean, the testing. Unless unless Dina Hinshaw is lying, they she said that there's they've only had like one or two cases. So the measures worked, she said for for um, they worked for didn't work for COVID, but they worked for influenza type A and type B. It seems rather strange that a mask would be selective like that, that it could protect you from type A, that you're a mask, but one, two layers of cloth that for a virus that's in the nanometer range protects you. Like, can you breathe through that? And if you had smoke in there, could you breathe smoke through that? Well, I, I guess you could. So it's not going to protect you from the coronavirus. Actually, this this mass is actually three I, layers. Oh. It, I've done the test with this mask, so I'm protected with this mask. And I agree, there are masks that are do not protect. Well, so and, and they, when they it comes don't, to they don't outlaw masks, that, so a mask that has a vent in there, which is that, not good. That's unadulterated air coming out. So if the mask is supposed well, to protect other people from in. you, then how is that even possible? How is that even possible? 
Okay, what about vaccine? Are you for or against vaccines? Well, I'm uh, personally. Yeah. It's my choice. Yeah, but are you for or against it? In my case, I wouldn't take it. Yeah. Okay. And again, that's your choice. That's that is your choice. right. And that's that's the right under the constitution. My body. We don't have a constitution in Canada. The Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Yeah, Canadian can Charter of Rights and Freedom, but it's it. but it's I, not a constitution. I, okay, it's not the same as a Republican constitution. It's or a constitution of the republic. Right. So. So. Yeah. No, so I, so I, you have the I right don't to choose to because yeah. the, the threat. So you know how many people have died in Alberta under the age of seventy from COVID, supposed COVID. Well, I don't have my numbers on. No, me. but if it was such a huge pandemic, there's been 300 people dying under the age of 70 in one year. So, how does that qualify as a pandemic? 300 people. Well, and all of the, and most of those people had comorbidities. Well, and it's not they, they look at it more than just you know just one little section, right? For I'm for talking about the in Alberta. But it's but it's Canada who claim, claimed it as an outbreak, and the thing is, is that no, for me, no, it's actually for me, the it's actually Dina Hinshaw. If you uh, check the law, actually, on it's, it's it's the it's Canadian, Dina it's, it's the Canadian government that actually rooted it. She's done an investigation and determined that COVID nineteen is present in Alberta. This I'm reading to you yeah. from the but from the, the public I, health order, and it says but the that the thing is, is it, it was the pandemic. Canadian government that. Said it's an outbreak, but the problem is, is no, it was our the WHO that said it was an outbreak in the Canadian but it, but the thing is, is the Canadian government did not react as fast as they should have. When the SARS virus started and came to Canada, they reacted so quickly, it wasn't such a huge as what we are now because they reacted. Now, because the Canadian government decided to sit back and go, let's see and wait. And with provinces, some provinces going, okay, what are we planning for? The, no, Canadian, the Canadian government waited in to see if anything happens after, here. After a year, the overall recovery rate from COVID is 99.7%. That's not, and of those 0.3% of the people that have died, most of them had comorbidities. So I'm saying, why is that a pandemic? <laughs> because people got sick of it. It's not just of death. No, but it's pandemic is, is something else than an epidemic. You're talking right? about it might be an epidemic, but it's not a pandemic. But it's where people, there's a high rate of death. It's not a high rate of death. Well, not here, but in other places there were. What Look at New places? York City. They had thousands of deaths because but, they live so close together. But you tell me this. So if if the PCR test is not accurate, and they're testing at high rates of uh, doubling, so two to the forty is is a billion times, right? So if they if they double two to the forty one times, that's two billion times. Sorry, two trillion times, not a billion. It's two trillion times. Thirty two is a billion. It's so they, if they amplify anything two trillion times, you can get anything. That's and that's what Kerry, the guy who invented the PCR test, says. You can, if you amplify enough, you can find anything in anything, because some of those cells are in it, everywhere. And just because you have one fragment of a virus, doesn't mean you're contagious. They've already said that. The tests already say you're not. They've never found any viable virus and anyone who's tested it over 35 cycles, Jordan. let alone 41 Don't cycles. But anyways, I'm just saying, family. if you want to look at all the data, then Come we on, can have a discussion. Guys. But We're family. You know, if you just want to blanket protest us, trying to say that we're whatever, some tinfoil hair In crack talks, I think you got another thing. So you're making allegations of what I'm here for. Canada, I'm just saying because we've, we've had this, rate in all of this North problem. America. Yeah, but you can't 
At that point, though, everybody who has a camera going to be like that, right? No, but I'm, I'm just wondering why, you know, you're here and you're... I'm here to cover the protest. I'm here to see if rights are violated or not. Rights are violated what, what rights? If from the Calgary City Police or Calgary Bylaw will come violate rights, give yeah. tickets out when they shouldn't be. Okay, if you're on that side, then I'm okay with that. Yeah. I mean, I, I'm, I, here to, I'm, a, I'm here I'm to a, stand up for my rights. And I'm a Canadian rights activist, so when it comes to rights, I've been doing this for such a long time. Because he loved the sport of I'm just, I'm just coming to you because I, I want to make sure you're not thinking that this is some racist rally that some people have been. Again, so much no. Okay. I, and that's all I wanted to no, find out. I, I, because you probably you know, last, last week we had trouble with someone. But, but no, I, I I know what this protest is and that's why I'm here to cover it. Okay. Going all the way to well, southern Canada to Toronto okay. to participate in a major right. tournament called the Nationals yeah. of Toronto. Well, thanks for meeting you. From all high school. Thanks for listening to my little rap, but you know, that's how I feel, and that's why I'm here. No, not a problem, man. Okay, yeah. take care. You too. Head so back to drinking and skipping school. Well, and mine, when I covered it, I was well, mine was about 18 are, minutes. Yeah. No because I, I want to make sure that I show that, well, number one, the police, the bylaw, like aren't going to go over and beyond yeah. and I violate people's is. rights. That's no, what I am. Yeah. I, think they so, I, I would love to hear that.